It's Gear, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server on the 1.9 pre-release. Um, the reason why I'm making this so late is because um, I haven't really been looking how to make a server on the 1.9 pre-release. And that's why I didn't make this the day it came out, or the week after, or whatever. But, back on topic, first you go to this website, I'll have a link to it in the description. Then you download the snapshot.jar. While that's downloading, go into your libraries and make a folder and put it wherever you want. This is going to be a server folder, so I recommend calling it whatever you're going to call your server. After you're done naming it, open it up, then go to, into the folder where you saved the uh, snapshot.jar. Click on the snapshot.jar, drag and drop it into the server folder and then rename it then delete the middle of it the 1.9 pre 5 r dash r1 don't delete the dashes that are on the sides of it and then type in 0.0.1 and it should say craft bucket all lowercase craft bucket dash 0.0.1 dash all uppercase snapshot and if it says that, next you make a new text document, open that up, and they'll have these in the description. This one right here is for Java 6, JRE 6, it should say that, and this one's for Java 7, JRE 7. I recommend using the Java 6 one first because most computers have Java 6, and if you know you have Java 7, use that one. But if the Java 6 one doesn't work, then go to Java 7. So, uh, copy that, paste it into the text document. And this is for 64-bit machines only. Uh, I recommend typing this in because it makes the server run better and it doesn't lag as much. But, uh, reminder, 64-bit machines only. Go in between, go after program files in between the uh, percent symbols. Then type in parentheses x... 8, 6, parenthesis, and again, parenthesis, x86, parenthesis, that's for 64-bit machines only, 32-bit, you just keep it the same, file, save as, and make sure you have the save as type to all files, and save it, call it whatever you want, I usually call it start, because it's what you click on to start up the server, type in start, or whatever you want to call it, then dot, you have to type this in, dot, B-A-T, bat, B-A-T. Save it. You can exit out of this. And then go into the server folder, delete the text document. Then double click the Windows batch file. And then start. And then it should work. If it doesn't work, that means you did something wrong with the uh, text document. But, yeah, this means it's working if all this stuff comes up. It does take a while to load, though. So, I am going to pause the video, and when it's done loading, I'll resume it. So, see you guys then. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, when it says done, clearly, that means it's done. Um, make sure, whatever you do, to stop or exit out of the server when you're done with it, type in stop, all lowercase, stop. Don't exit out of it, because that could possibly screw up your computer, and you don't want that. So, um, whatever you do, type in stop, okay? Then you press enter, and then it says console stopping the server, stopping server, saving chunks. The more stuff you build between starting and stopping the server, or the more plugins you get in it, the longer it's going to take to save. So, yeah, it may take a while to save it, especially right when you first make the server. It's gonna t when it's done stopping. It says press any key to continue. Press any key and it exits out for you. So whatever you do, type in stop. Um, and if you want to edit the server, go into the uh, server properties file. And uh, here's where you can edit. Allow Nether. True. That's if you want the Nether level name. You could call it whatever you want to name the uh, your world basically. Uh, Allow flight. I set that to true because I like flying. 
enable query or query whatever you want to call it I don't know what that does but I'm guessing it has something to do with mines if I even am pronouncing that right but I don't know what that does because I haven't played 1.9 yet but server port keep that the same enable icon I don't know what that is either sorry guys level seed is for a specific like level you want say if you want it to be like skylands or whatever um, server IP, don't fill that in because sometimes it, it doesn't work. Most of the time for me, it doesn't work. Just I don't fill it in, it doesn't affect anything. Waitlist, that's what if you want like it to make it so only certain people can join the server. Spawn animals, well, make sure you can spawn animals. Online mode, if you want it to be an online server for anybody else to join, make that true. PvP, if you want people to be able to kill each other, make that true. Difficulty that's like hard normal the higher you make it the harder it's gonna be for you and for any other players game mode This is how you change it from standard to creative If you want the game mode to be standard you keep it as zero if you want it to be creative you change it to one But um again creative one standard zero Max players you can set this to anything it just makes it so you have a certain amount of players in the server But I'm just warning you if you want to have a shitload of players like thousands um you're gonna need a pretty big computer to do that <laughs> like very high ram but um spawn monsters that's if you want monsters to spawn view distance i don't even bother setting that doesn't really do anything motd that stands for message of the day so when you join the server whatever you type in here is what it's gonna say if you want it to be color you just type in the uh, and symbol and the color number like and Four, I think it's dark red. I, I don't know if that works for the message of the day, but I know it works for um, essentials. But after you're done with that, just save it. Is it out? It should work, and whatever you edit should be edited. This is your world folder. Um, ops, it, that's for like if you want people to build. If you, unless you have permissions, ops, you have to put the person's name in there for them to be able to build, or they won't be able to build at all. I don't use the bucket permissions. Um, and this is the whitelist, so if you enable whitelist, you type in the people's names and they'll be able to join. Banned IPs, banned players. That's basically all. Now, um, if you want to transfer, say, a 1.8 server that you already made, or a 1.7 server, whatever it's from, what you do is copy the uh, craft bucket, snapshot, 001. Um, you back out of that, go into the server folder for the 1.7 and 1.8 server, and you delete the old snapshot that you already have in there, and you just paste in the new one, as simple as that, and last time I did it, it worked, I, I'm not going to be able to show you guys, because uh, I don't have 1.9 right now, I had to restart my computer, and sh yeah, but um, it should work if you want to transfer it over but yeah that's basically it um have fun on 1.9 everybody